It's an honor to be here with all of you incredible supporters of South Seattle College. My name is Blanca Oliveira and I am completing my second year at South Seattle College. I enrolled at South after graduating from Chief Self International High School in 2015. I came to South for the 13th year Promise Scholarship. It's because of this program which paid for my first year of college and continues to give me support and guidance that I call myself a college student. I come from a family of seven and I'm the oldest of five children. Being the oldest comes with a lot of responsibilities, which I take very seriously. I am the first in my family to attend college, and now my siblings know that college is in their future. As a person of color, it is especially important for me to complete my college education. Statistically, less than half of Latino students receive a college education. I am here to break that cycle. But I am more than a statistic. I am a person, sister, daughter, and student. And one day, I hope to add lawyer to this list. Personally, personally, challenging goals is never easy, but I'm motivated to surpass society's expectations. When I feel tired or defeated, my family motivates me to keep going and continue my education. My parents didn't go to college, and the U.S. education system is boring to them, so they are learning how it all works right along with me. My parents encouraged me to put myself out there and take risks take advantage of each opportunity that presents itself. When I was asked to speak at this event, I was very nervous. But my mom said to me what she says each time a new opportunity arises. Don't let it pass you by, take it. My mom always told me not to put up walls or let fear stop me from reaching my goals. She is here with me tonight. My family left Oaxaca, Mexico, and came to the United States when I was 11 years old. At first, it was a difficult transition. The biggest challenge was the language barrier. Before coming to the U.S., I didn't speak any English. When I first arrived, I felt very lost. But I have always loved to read, so I learned the language by reading everything I could. I would read street signs, flyers, stickers, and anything I could find, really. I read down the words that I saw in a notebook and looked up the translations at home. I felt a lot of pressure to learn English quickly. I was frequently put on the spot to translate for my family members. I became my family's translator for cashiers, school administrators, telemarketers, and receptionists all across King County. <laughs> this turned out to be a valuable training in English and communication. This, along with my journal of translated work, helped me become fluent in English in three months. As a kid, I didn't think much about the steps I had to take to go to college. I wanted a professional job, to have my own office, but I didn't know how to get there. My parents have told me not to, that I have to continue my education. This is part of the reason they came to the United States. They wanted me to have the choice to study and pursue a career in whatever I chose. While I have always loved school, I didn't think I'd be able to go to college. I wasn't sure if going to college was even an option, and paying for it didn't seem possible. Then in high school, representatives from the 13th year Promise Scholarship visited my class. At first, it didn't seem real. When they told me that I could go to college for free for an entire year, I honestly didn't believe them. I started attending the 13th year Promise Scholarship workshops and meetings and learned about financial aid. Once I saw that college was possible, I dedicated all of my time to finding out more about financial aid, the 13th year, in South Seattle College. My parents came with me to the financial aid workshops. We wrote down notes and started to make plans. I researched and followed instructions meticulously. I didn't want to waste this opportunity. When it came clear that yes, I did qualify for this program, and yes, I would go to college, my parents said, see, everything will work out, you will go to college. Looking back, I'm sure they were ner as nervous as I was. But their encouragement and determination to go through the process gave me courage. The 13th year gave me an opportunity that I wouldn't have found anywhere else. And it made me feel like my dreams could become a reality. Staff members walked us through the application, financial aid, and enrollment process, and pushed us to think beyond a two-year degree. At first, I didn't know what to study, but I was supported and encouraged to think long term. I have followed plans to complete and transfer on time this summer. So far, one of the biggest challenges has been that I feel too interested in all my classes. Each time I take a new course, I think, wow, this is so interesting. I want to keep learning more about this subject. But with each new quarter, I get a clearer sense of what I want to do with my life. That strengths my love for learning and empowers me to keep, keep, continue learning new things. That has played a huge role in my growth, not only as a student, but as a person. Transitioning from high school to college is a big change, especially for a first-generation college student. 
I had to learn quickly so that I wouldn't be left behind. I had to learn how to be independent to be a college student. After I completed my 13th year, I started to looking for other ways to fund my tuition. And last year, I was awarded that Robert Frey as a state student scholarship in memory of Sally Brahman. Through this scholarship, which allowed me to enroll in summer school, this has kept me in track to graduate on time. Receiving a foundation scholarship was an incredible feeling, and it was also a great relief. Mapping out my budget for school, the scholarships allowed me to keep moving forward. The scholarships allowed me to focus on school rather than working long hours. The financial aid system lets me look ahead and keep moving forward. When you don't have enough money to cover expenses, you live one day at a time. You make decisions based on immediate needs, and you can't afford to look to the future. Scholarships allow me to look ahead on the future and plan which courses to enroll in for the following quarters. My scholarships, including a 13th year, have propelled me forward. I feel so grateful for all the opportunities that House has given me. My long-term goal is to go to law school because I want to make a difference in my community and learn how the law protects them so they don't get their rights violated. Knowledge is a powerful tool, and I want to use it to defend myself and others. Immigrant communities and all communities that are underserved are often taken advantage of. I like to plan affordable workshops for community members who lack access to the resources they need due to language barriers, immigration status, or income levels. My mom never missed a workshop, and without these programs, I don't know where we'd be today. I feel proud to be able to encourage my siblings and others to follow their dreams and not be able to put themselves out and be able to put themselves out there and take risks. South Seattle College has allowed me to take the first step in higher education, and I feel so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you for supporting this incredible school. Thank you for helping me and so many others take the first step. Please consider raising your paddle for me and for all the South Seattle students, present, future, who need a little help to make their dreams a reality. Thank you so much for your time and generosity.